Hey there, this is Chetan and let's create a design. To create the design, you need to add the torus with the 24 major segment and 8 minor segment. Then you need to go to the edit mode, turn on your extra mode, select these faces with the cross selection and then E to extrude them and move them along the x-axis. And then scale them along the x-axis and make them flat. As like this. Then select these faces with the shortest path selection and then scale them along the y-axis and make them flat. Then you need to add the support to loop cuts as like this and same thing scale it along the x-axis and give the right position. Then add the support to loop cuts like this to maintain the good details. Then you can add the sub D modifier and increase it count up to 2. Then add few more loop cuts like this. Then you can dissolve these edge loops. And then select the words, right click connect vertex path and create a path in between the words. Then just give the right position to these words to keep the same distance in between these edge loops. Then you can add one more loop cut like this. And that's look good. Shade smooth it. Give the right position to the words at here also. So you can use the edge slide for that or you can use the move tool. Then select everything and then take the symmetry along the z-axis. Then add few more loop cuts like this. Then you can select this edge loop with the shortest path selection. And then double tap G for the edge slide and take it close to that border. So we can maintain the good harder edge at there. And now that's look good. Then shift D to duplicate it and make a backup. Then you can add a few more loop cuts like this. And then select these edge loops and use the set flow to maintain the good edge flow. Then here you can use the knife tool and then recreate that cut and then dissolve this edge loop. Now that's look good. Then you can select these faces with the shift select and then press I for the insert operation and give the right thickness. Then one more time select these faces with the shift select and cross selection. Then use the insert operation and give the same thickness. Then select all these faces and use the insert operation. Then use the extrude along the normal and extrude inside. Then press I for the insert operation. Then you can select this edge loop and double tap G for the edge slide to adjust its position a little bit. That's look good. You can see from the matcap view. It looks really well. Then you can select these words and move them little bit along the x-axis and take them close to the ring. Then select these faces and then press I for the insert operation then use the loop tool and create a decent looking circular boolean details. Then you can add few loop cuts like this and just here I want to create a boolean detail. So I can select the faces, just give the right position to the words, then select the faces and use the insert operation, then loop tool and then circle option. And create a circular boolean detail at there. So just go to the front view, turn on your extra mode and then select these faces and then press I for the insert operation and then extrude along the normal. That's look good. Then scale it down and use the insert operation. And that looks really well. Then add the support to loop cuts to maintain the form. Basically it is the design of the digital temperature meter. So that's why I just want to show the button add there which controls that meter. Then you can select these faces with the shortest path selection. Then shift D to duplicate it and then press P for the selection to make it different object. And then extrude it along its normal. Then scale it down little bit. And then add a support to loop cuts on it. That's look good. This is pretty cool. Just scale it along the z axis a little bit and add a support to loop cuts to maintain the form. Then check the face orientation. And then you can add set scale a little bit. You can play with the form and you can try to refine it as much as you can. 
and you can try to achieve the good results at there. Now just I'm using my kit batch nuts and bolts volume 1 to add more details on it. You will get this kit batch on our Gumroad store links in the description. And that's it. In this way you can create this kind of design. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So next video. Take care.